Hello Internet World, welcome to a new video on the Geek and Noise channel. In today's video I've got a tripod that was very kindly sent in to me by Vanguard uh, and I want to share my opinion with you. The, the first thing I want to just tell you about is that there are lots of different types of tripods. Uh, some are geared towards photography, some are geared towards videography and the latter, the, the, the video uh, focused tripods can of course also be used for photography as well but if you're into producing video and you buy a tripod just with a standard ball head on which is really focused on photography you'll struggle doing smooth pans this particular tripod not only has a really good video head on but also is made of carbon fiber so it's super super light now this is a live broadcast so before I show you the product up a little bit closer I do want to say a big hello to everyone tuned in live include, including UY Scooty thank you very very much for tuning in live if you're watching live you can use the live chat you can also use the super chat and if you're watching afterwards you can use the regular comment section below I also see Mark DeVos also tuned in live so thanks very much for tuning in let's move on to look at the product and the, the product packaging this is what the product packaging looks like. Uh, this is the Vanguard VO2 Pro, model number 233 CPV. It's a carbon fiber tripod. Uh, it comes with the VO2 PH38 dual pan head and it's a three section tripod. So there's three sections in the legs that you can extend out to make the tripod higher or lower. Uh, let me just read you off the specs on the top because I can never remember this. Uh, 58 centimeters when it's its smallest form, sort of packed down. Uh, fully extended maximum height is 146 centimeters. It weighs in at 11 pounds or five kilograms, and uh, it can um, uh, hold three. I think I got that wrong way round. I think it's 11 pounds or five kilograms of um, capacity that it can take, and it weighs in at 3.3. 53 pounds or 1.6 kilograms in weight. Uh, it's 23, was it 23 millimeters? 23 millimeters gauge on the the actual uh, size of the legs. Now you obviously get the tripod inside the box. You also get uh, instructions. You also get some additional bolts and spiked feet in a bag. Uh, you also get the little sort of uh, plate. Uh, to mount your camera onto the tripod itself and you also get this really nice shoulder bag with a little drawstring piece on the top to carry said tripod in when you're walking around. Uh, the actual tripod itself is extremely well made. I'll show you a camera on it very shortly. I just want to show you, look this is so light. It is a super super light tripod. We've got plain leg here, plain leg here and then this one which is the one you're going to sort of hold on to when you're moving this around. It's got some rubberized section on it. Then you've got the uh, turn lock mechanism on here. So the legs are locked at the moment. You turn this to release the leg and then you can extend out the additional sections. And you can you can actually lock these in at any position. You don't, they don't have to be fully extended to lock them in. So you can lock them in halfway or indeed when they're fully extended. Then of course you've got the third section here as well. So very, very nicely done just put this back together like so because I'm going to have this on the desk so we're going to just lock these back in so now they're locked into place we've of course got rubberized feet you can replace these with the spikes the center column just here has got a little hook on it a lot of people ask what the hooks for well one it can be a convenient place to hang your camera bag but secondly you can use this with uh, little bags of stones for example and if you're on a, a surface where you need a really stable base, you can hang sort of something that's weighted on here. And uh, it just gives you a more stable base. It sort of uh, anchors down the tripod a bit more. And if we look at the top here, uh, we can, of course, turn this here and extend that center column. So you've got extra height on the center column. We have got a bubble level just here on the base and also a bubble level on the top of the head as well. So if you need to get everything nice and level, you can. You can also push these buttons in. So you've got buttons on the legs, so we can actually put the legs to a different angle, or we can have them at the more upright angle. So you can angle these legs out as you choose. And then we've got various controls here, various locking knobs, and these allow you to uh, reposition your camera. And I'll show you that once the camera is indeed on the top 
Now, let's grab my camera. So I've got a Nikon Z6 here with a 24 to 70 millimeter lens. Um, I'm gonna put it on I, this way round. So we just pop this on the top plate and then we're gonna tighten this in. So we lock the camera in place. Now, in its simplest form, we can release just here and then this allows us to pan the camera around left to right and it's a very smooth pan extremely smooth now we can also turn these two handles if we turn this one it allows us to tilt the camera this way let me just turn this around so you get a better look at that so I can turn this one and it allows me to turn the camera on this axis and then I can lock it in when it's level or indeed you can go down into portrait mode if you're using this for photography remember it up and down it's still very nice fluid movement but it's a little bit more difficult to get a smooth up and down pan but, but with a bit of practice you can certainly do it because it's dampened nicely and it allows you to get that very very smooth sort of from a lower position to a higher position pan so really nice uh, head on here uh, it's termed as two-way I always term these as it's just my personal way of talking about these I always term these as three-way because you've got one which is this movement you've got two which is this movement and then you've got the third which is this movement so I, I call it a three-way pan head but uh, on the box it says two-way but a, just a really nice combination of really nice controls super smooth very very nice features in this tripod really nice head and a nice compact head on here as well for a video head so I think they've done a good job on that and a very very lightweight tripod super easy to carry around let me just remove my camera off here just very easy to carry around I just want to show you this top plate I'm going to remove it from the camera so the the little plate that goes on the bottom of your camera is nice and compact as well it's got this little turn in piece on it show you that up a little bit close a little turny piece that allows you to tighten it onto your camera and then we've uh, got the little rubberized pieces here which is going to give some padding to the camera as well allow you to sort of tighten it down uh, nicely onto the base of your camera so that is it what do I think of it well I think it's a really nice tripod I love the lightweight uh, aspect of it because it's made of carbon fiber uh, love the the head very very smooth panning super useful for video but really nice that you can get that round into portrait uh, format as well and use it for photography really easily as well. So that is it for this video. I want to thank you all for tuning in. If you've got any questions at all about the tripod, tripods in general, photography, videography, pop them down in the comments section below. That's where the discussion happens. If you want to pick up this tripod for yourself, then please do check out the links down in the video description area. And also there's a link down there to the Vanguard website. So you can check out their whole range. They do so, so many uh, different tripods and accessories and camera bags and things like that. So please do check out that link as well. Thanks for watching everyone. If you are not already subscribed, uh, please uh, do subscribe. Hit that subscription button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on my future videos. And also, if uh, you want to follow me on social media, I'm Geekanoids on pretty much all the social media platforms. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in another one very, very soon. And for those of you still watching, thank you for tuning in live and the comments, really cool comments today on the live chat. Thank you very much for that. I'll see you all again soon, guys.